Hi people, welcome to this new video. Today I will show you the difference between copy and clone in System Betalog. First, we got copy. Copy dup duplicates the class instance pointer. A property updated via one object pointer can, can be seen via the other. We got our class here. We can see the properties of this class and this part is part of the test bench we got our handles p1 and p2 and this is our initial block first um, we are creating an object for this handle for p1 and then we are giving the value of 7 to data this data and then this is the, the important part we are copying what exists in P1 to P2. That is how we make the copy. And I show you how it works. We got our P1 with this data. And then when we make the copy, we are we are pointing to the same uh, to the same reference. And then when we try to change the value of P1 or P2, but the value of data, we are still having the same the same data in both in both of both handles. On the other hand, we have clone. Clone creates a new instance with the same property values. We can see that we got the same class class packet and then the only thing that change is this we got new so we're we're saying that p2 is equal to a new p1 so we are doing this part first we have p1 with this address and with this data and then when we clone we got two reference and they, they are not pointing to the same reference they are really different and then when we try to change the value of, of P2 of course the data from 7 to 1 we can see that they are they are different they are pointing to the two other reference so let's go to to proof in either play one I got here our class. We can see we got our properties, data and address, our constructor. We are giving the value of the address to make the object. And then we have our property of printing. Then we got our test bench here. We have our handles as I showed you before. We are creating an object for the handle here we are giving the value of, of 7 in decimal to the object here and then we are going to display P1 with this and then we got our copy here then we are going to to, to print what exists in, P, in P2 and we, we are going to see that they are equal and then we change the value of data from P2 and we are going to to see that even though we change the value of P2 they are going to be the same let's run we can see first we got P1 the address is 3 and the data is 7 P2 after copying we got 3 and data is 7 we can see it's the same and then we got P1 after change value of data from P2 so we can see that the value has changed from 7 to 1 even though we, we didn't touch P1 because we changed the value of P2 that means that we are pointing to the same 
to the same reference. That's how copy works. On the other hand, we got clone. We can see our class here. And it's the same code, but the only th thing that changes is this. We are making a clone with new. So when we try to run, let's see, we want we got p1, the address is three, the data is seven, p2 for cloning, the address is three, the data is seven. It's the same because we have we have cloned what exists in p1 to p2, and then we are going to print p1 after changing value of data from p2 so we have changed the value here from 7 to 1 and we can see that they are different p1 has the data with 7 and p2 with 1 that's how it works well guys thanks for watching and i think you really enjoy it and if you want to subscribe to this channel i'm gonna be really glad and thank you thanks for watching and see you in the next video